Good morning, everybody. Man, we are uh, more on it today than we were on it yesterday. Uh, what that means is we got up, we went to bed way earlier. Um, I gotta say, the uh, taking a bath before bed, it's kind of game changer. I, uh, I'm kind of blown away by it. I uh, get in for about 10 minutes. Everything online, you know, like the, like the fashion, not fashion, but like skincare stuff said like about 10 minutes is how long it takes for your pores to open up. Um, Cause really all I want to do is just increase my core temperature before I go into bed. And I hate sitting in the shower and like getting it a little, like you can get in the shower obviously and just like increase the temperature gradually until your skin like feels like it's about to melt off. But with the bath, you can just get in that thing and you're just, you're just good. You know, I'm gonna go here. Oh, thread the needle. But you know, you get in the, you get in the bath, you let it get all nice and toasty in there, you know, where you can take it. You just get on in that thing, put on a video. I was watching Danny Duncan last night, 13 minute video, you know, get in there for, you know, 10 minutes, let all your pores open up increase that body temperature and then uh you know wash up like a pilgrim and you're good to go you know like it, it feels like i'm clean you know like i don't think there's really that much of a of like a problem when it comes to cleanliness that's how we used to clean right so i feel like we're all right i don't know i don't know but uh i did that at like 8 30 last night i got out of got out of there laid in bed at like 8 40 was out by nine o'clock game changer like uh man sleep has never been better for me um i'm currently on this uh thing that i listen to andrew huberman talk about um my best friend and i are taking it i'm trying to get my dad onto it because he has a problem with sleeping and i'm trying to get uh another one of my friends my business partner to kind of go down this road too um but basically what it is, is uh, magnesium threonate, um, apigenine, as well as L-theanine. So I might screw this up. If I screw it up, then I highly recommend, you know, looking up Andrew Huberman, you know, sleep cocktail. And that'll give you a, a better, you know, explanation of what's going on here. But pretty much the magnesium threonate, I believe that's like a specific, like, type of magnesium that helps you know calm your calm your system down um i'm pretty sure it's supposed to help you stay in that slumber state that's the one i really don't know about the apigenine is just a chamomile extract chamomile's always been good for going to sleep when i was younger my mom would always give me chamomile tea for that so that kind of makes sense and then uh and then the l-theanine kind of is an anti-anxiety, kind of helps you get more comfortable in bed, so you're okay with going in to that sleeping process. Um, you know, that's probably the most barbaric way that I possibly could describe, you know, the sleep aid, but, you know, I'm trying. Just look it up, look it up. Maybe if I remember later, I'll put it in the description down below and you can just click on it and kind of see what's going on there. Um, but yeah, so update on the cold plunge. We, uh, it was warmer this morning. By warmer, I mean outside it was warmer. It was about 45 degrees outside, so it felt really good. Um, because when I, like I said, when I wake up, I immediately get in front of like a hot vent in my house, crank the temperature up to like 75, and then just kind of sit in front of it and get real, real nice and toasty. I get super nice and toasty and then uh, once I feel like my body's like warmed up enough then uh, you know I'll get up walk around for a minute and then uh, you know it's I'm only sitting there for about like 20 25 minutes um, and then I'll get up I'll go uh, I'll go walk around my house see I'm good I'll get the cold plunge ready and then usually when I walk outside it's pretty refreshing um, obviously you know the last couple days it's been, you know, in the lower 30s, high 20s, so it hasn't been as refreshing as it could be, um, but, you know, coming out of, like, sitting in front of a fan, you know, for 
not a fan, but like a hot vent at like 75 degrees. Um, I take my beta, beta alanine uh, as well with it, so I'm all like itchy and everything. So I'm getting a little, my body stimulated, I'm hot. So usually when I step outside and feel that cold, you know, ref, like that cold air, it's pretty refreshing. Today it was incredibly refreshing. It just felt good. It didn't feel, you know, bad or, or like taking the wind out of me or anything. However, uh, something that I didn't mean to do that kind of made the ice, the plunge a little bit, uh, a little bit intense was, uh, so when you have the, uh, active aqua chiller, which is what I use, I have a, a quarter horsepower active aqua chiller. And what I do is there's a pump that goes inside of my ice plunge. One second. Celsius watermelon. So the pump is attached inside, and then the pump pulls water in to the ch into the into the into the into the pump, right? And it goes into a tube into the active aqua chiller. I completely just forgot my train of thought. Oh, I got it. So it pulls into the pump, and then it goes into the chiller, right? And then it comes out the chiller into this underwater sink housing filter that I got, 20 micron filter definitely the way to go. I think mine's 30 microns, so it's a little bit, um, I can't remember if the higher the micron, the thicker it is, like the less porous it is, or I don't know. It's like 30 microns right now. You really want to go with 20. That's the recommended um, one you want to go with. Um, but, and then it comes out in that housing and then it goes back into my, uh, into my, chi into my, uh, my cold plunge, right? So the only problem though, is that uh, the output of water out of the tube, I have three fourths inch tubes, it's a pretty hefty stream, you know? It keeps the water moving, um, which is good because it chills it really, really, really well. However, when I got into my plunge, um, you know, when you step into that thing, you know, the first 30 seconds, your mind is just, it's a little gone for a second, but you get into it, you get comfortable, right? Um, but for me, usually what I do is how I set up my plunge is I'll go outside, I'll take the insulated tarp off, I'll take the lid off, I'll unplug the pump, make sure that the chiller is off because you don't want to be, you know, running, you know, no water through that thing because that's how you fuck up the compressor inside of the chiller. And then essentially, I'll unplug it, everything, so it's just still water because, you know, one of the things with the cold plunge is that when you get inside of it and you sit there and you control your breathing, highly recommend if you do go down this route of, you know, going into it, you know, you breathe through your nose. That's helped me out a ton. Um, Cause the more you move in the cold plunge, um, the more you break this thermal, you know, barrier. So when you sit in the plunge and the water's all stagnant and there's nothing going on and you're just sitting there, it's covering you, you kind of build up this little thermal layer and it feels a lot warmer. Now, for me, this morning, um, I didn't unplug anything. Um, I know this is easy for you, I get that. But for me, it was incredibly difficult. I got in that thing, the water was still, you know, tumbling around. And after 30 seconds, I was like, man, I cannot catch my breath, I'm cold. And then uh, when I do my plunge, it's in the dark uh, because just, I don't know why I'm doing it to myself, but I do it. I go outside and pretty much in the dark um, when I go to do it because it's dark outside at about 6.30 in the morning. Um, I have some ambient light inside the room that's next to, but it's not a lot of light. And then I looked up and I saw a green hue on the glass, uh, my sliding door. And uh, that only means one thing, that the chiller was on. And if the chiller's on, that means the pump was on. And that water was moving, man. That water was moving. I was freezing in that thing. I could, thermal layer was broken. So I just kind of sat there um, and I was just like, fuck me. I guess this is just how we're, how we're rocking this. Uh, it's against three minutes. I didn't really want to get up because if I got up, if I got up, it was just going to be even worse. And uh, another side note was uh, last night, um, you know, every once in a while, I used to do it a lot you know, back in the day, 
back in the day being like freshman, sophomore year of college when uh, Sad List was kind of started. Um, I like the feeling of, you know, a hairless body, you know? I grow a lot of hair on my body, you know? So like my arms, my legs, you know, sometimes I like to, you know, shave it up a little bit, you know? Get a nice smooth surface. You can see more vascularity, you know? More striations. It's just something, you know, I like, you know? Girls, girls have it right. When you get a nice, you know, shaved leg and you get into a nice clean bed, some, some nice fresh sheets after a hot bath, woo! It's, it's a creamy, good feeling, man. So, I did that last night. And let me tell you, when I got in that ice plunge, it made it way colder. Way colder. I felt like a seal getting in that thing. Uh, which I guess, you know, water was slipping and sliding off me, but it was, it was cold, man. So, the shaved legs and arms and chest plus the vortex... Fuck me, dude. That was, that was a lot. But we did it. It was only three minutes. My feet weren't as cold because I couldn't stop focusing on how cold everything else was. But hey, it was all right. It was all right, we got through it. Man, my entire drive talk has been about the ice plunge. Uh, so let's talk about what we're gonna do in the gym. So it's like Christmas morning for me. We get to train arms. The current split is chest, back, arms, forearms, and abs. Because I like training abs. And I like training forearms. And I don't like training calves. And legs. And then we repeat. It's about a five-day thing. Um, that seems to have really worked for me right now. I'd like to keep it to four days and then I switch. Because I feel like I could get more out of my week if I do that. But right now we're, we're doing this. Because... Um, you know, I'm not necessarily recovering as fast as I could be recovering. I'm doing the ice bath, the sauna. I'm doing everything I naturally can to recover, but obviously I'm not in any type of PED, so I can't really push it as hard as I want to. So I have to have a little bit of a, of like strategy. Like my back's pretty tender yesterday after that back workout, which I don't know why. Um, I think it was from the cable rows because I, I don't do those a lot but my lower left section of my back is definitely tender had some old man syndrome walking around this morning um, <clears throat> but we're gonna go and train arms we're probably gonna do six sets of triceps so three exercises for triceps two sets a piece and then we're gonna do the same thing for biceps I feel a little bit of a bowel movement coming on, and I really hope I don't have to deal with that when I get in there. But I don't think I will be able to. I don't think I'll be able to. I don't think I'll have to deal with that right now. I think we're all right. So we're gonna pretty much go in, and we're gonna crush this. That is the essentially the goal. We got about. I got here a little bit earlier, 7:30. I don't know how. I left even earlier, so I don't understand why it's still 7:30. But I got from 7.30 until 8.10, so it's about 50 minutes, about 25 minutes per, per muscle group, and then we'll take a look at the pump. All right, we did a couple working sets, doing pretty good. Not really having any problems yet. Kind of doing, starting off with these, uh, these push downs here. Really just kind of trying to throw the weight. It's kind of like the ultimate goal we're trying to go for right here. And we'll start working some more squeeze stuff. Um, we're getting a lot stronger on these. It just felt pretty good. Um, I don't know, we're going to go 170, 190. We're still not hitting the full stack, but hopefully we'll be able to get there pretty soon. It's kind of the goal. Let's see what happens.
Yeah, that stuff felt pretty, pretty, pretty good. It felt pretty good. We'll probably do one, two more sets. So what I've been really liking lately is doing like 12 reps total. It's like the mat, the, the max, the minimum. I guess eight's the minimum, 12's the maximum. And that's allowed me to progressively overload week by week. Essentially, you know, if the week prior, you know, 12 reps was good or eight reps was good, you know, hoping next week we can push it like eight, eight or nine, try to get to 11. Um, this allowed me to keep pushing it. So, you know, definitely not a, not a bad training style for me at least right now. feeling Ooh, pretty good right now so you know I said the car about like uh, what like eight six sets total but I'm really liking this I'm really liking how this is feeling right now so we're gonna camp out here for a minute we got 25 minutes to do this so we haven't even hit that that block yet what is it maybe it's about 7.50, we'll move to uh, move the biceps. So, I'm enjoying camping out here right now, though. Feels pretty good. We'll do one more set here. Try to get eight, pump out a couple more. And uh, let's do that leaves us. Go to someone else. All right, so I've been really enjoying these. Uh, I think it was calm. Nope. Nope. Always make sure to check your surroundings, make sure that uh, no one's using the stuff. But uh, something I've really enjoyed using lately is uh, kind of like this uh, this single arm extension kind of hits it a little bit differently. And I think today, depending on how this grip feels, we're gonna hit a little reverse handle on this. So, kind of sitting right here. And just... Goals is try to hit like eight without form breaking. That's kind of where we're at right now. So, get some stuff going. Definitely got a juicy tricep pump right now.
my wrist is feeling a little funky on that, I gotta say. So I got a broken, I got plates in here in this arm. It's feeling really good on that squeeze downward. But that, uh, that one on my uh, left one's not really feeling too hot. So um, we're gonna hit one more set. I think we're gonna move on. So. Increase the weight on this a little bit. Kind of the point is we want to like really get that squeeze going. And um, I'm really hoping this isn't going to feel weird on this arm. Because that last one felt good. Kind of stopped right about eight. But we took some weight up. Don't necessarily recommend increasing the weight for your last one, but hey, we're here to get a little nasty. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's go to another type of pressing thing. It's been a long time since I've done them. Let's see how it goes. I did a quick warm up thing trying to figure out my hand placement, and I feel like right here the squeeze is definitely good, but it's hurting my hand. So I think we're gonna grab this thing right underneath the ball grip here, and we're gonna really try to just like lock in and push in on this thing. Definitely feeling some uh, some chest activation on that, but it's a dip machine, right? So it's kind of hard to avoid that. But uh, you know, I think it's all right. I think we're cool. We'll do. We're gonna do one more set, and then uh, we're gonna go to biceps. <sighs> Maybe, uh, maybe that's pretty good. Alright, let's do some fucking biceps. Alright, so, I'm gonna start out with some, just some normal curls. My wrists are always kind of fucked up, but I just did a quick warm up, feeling alright. So, again, like I said, same philosophy, 8 to minimum, 12 to maximum. We're gonna crank it out, see how it goes. See what happens. Probably do one more set of that. One of the hammer curls. 
and probably some reverse. I've been really trying to work every head, so I'm trying to get every kind of. We're really lacking on biceps for a long time, so I'm trying to really just hit, you know, hit that front, that sides, and then that that wrist twist to be able to really get what we need to get. I'm gonna do this one a little bit different, so instead of kind of getting that swing, I'm gonna try to get them at the same time. Feel a little, a little bit of a different variation going on. Okay. That's good for that. Let's move on to some type of hammer curl. Alright, we're gonna do some type of uh, hammer curl variation. I like doing the, uh, the cable ones recently because I've been keeping all that force to my, uh, my forearms. That's been pretty, uh, pretty nice. So, using my lats is kind of like a one of those, uh, what's it called? Like bicep bombers. Ooh, this is a little low. Hopefully you can see the pump. Problem is when you're done, you're done. Ooh, that exposure is low. Some type of reverse curl. Look at the sunlight out today. Very nice. It rained all day yesterday, so it's nice to be able to have a little bit of a sunshine kind of peeking through. Um, but yeah, I didn't really feel too burned out on that. So uh, let's get this. Uh, get one more in. We'll head on to a uh, reverse. Maybe dumbbell. Maybe cable. Cable's probably gonna win. All right, pump is immaculate today. Holy shit, feeling good. A little bit of that, a little bit of that Dorito shape kind of coming in. Little pump check somewhere that's not in the room, but feeling pretty good. I feel like we got some decent size going on right there. So uh, we can turn the exposure down just a little bit. Don't want to get too freaky with it, but uh, give it a go. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Down a little bit more. It's definitely uh, not seeing as much of a. Nah, we're good. It's a little bit of a recap. Hit three different tricep movements, three different bicep movements. I can't think. Ooh. Ooh. Oh.
Pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, I just screamed really loud. But... All right, let's go get in the car. All right. So that was a pretty good lift. That was probably the best lift I've had all week. You know, when it comes to overall like pumps and overall training, like that was pretty a one. Um, got some exciting news. Uh, we got our first client today, which is pretty exciting. We're uh, getting ready to go and kind of get that done. Um, but as a new business owner, feeling pretty excited. I, uh, I'm gonna really enjoy looking back, uh, back at this video in the future and just kind of remembering this day because, uh, yeah, man, this is pretty exciting. But um, let's, get, let's talk about the pump. So those first three tricep movements, um, I'm not really a big fan of that like push down kind of situation. Um, I don't really ever do them because I'm so afraid it's gonna hit chest like just too much um, But the way of grabbing it, instead of kind of going on top of it But kind of grabbing that you know handle underneath that ball and pushing straight down um, I was watching a Sam Sulik video yesterday, and uh, he was kind of talking about hyper extending and I've never I, I never hyper extend any of my tricep movements because I'm just like Freak you out freak me out. It's gonna hurt. Don't want to do that. Um, and I don't know, today I did it and it felt pretty good. Got a nice burn, um, kind of got that nice squeeze at the top, but it was, it was pretty good. Um, I really want to figure out why my left wrist has way more uh, problems doing that reverse kind of like, you know, single arm extension. Cause I feel like it shouldn't be hurting that much, but it's definitely hurting. So we got to figure that out. Maybe we just don't do reverse. I've broken my left arm three times, my right arm two times. So that definitely is like a factor to play at that. Um, but you know, maybe it's just something I don't need to, I don't need to do. Now for biceps, dude, that was crazy. That was a great ass pump. Um, you know, starting out with those dumbbells, those dumbbell curls, very, very good. Let's get that exposure up a little bit. Very good. Um, going into the hammer curls, I didn't really hit it as much as, not hammer curls, but like it was with the cable and everything. Like I didn't hit it as much as I wanted to, but the pump, you know, my mindset is not really on weight and on, you know, getting the sets done. It's really just about feel nowadays, right? So if the feel is right, if the feel is right and the pump is good, then there's really nothing more to do. You know, so we did that and then that led me into the reverse curl and at that point I was just, I was fried. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's good with me. I'm not necessarily, uh, you know, a stickler now for, you know, gotta get all these sets in and everything, but like I was pumped by the end of it. And I think, I think that kind of came through, especially in the, uh, especially in that post pump review. So, you know, no complaints, definitely feeling happy. And uh, and yeah, so today's gonna be a good day though. We got some good shit going on, feeling good, feeling great. Couldn't be happier. And for, you know, especially for this whole client thing to, you know, happen on a day that's, uh, on an arm day, shit, man. That's, uh, that's something else. So I really don't have much more to say. We're gonna get a little bit more caffeine in us this morning, which, uh, you know, typically don't wanna do. I don't wanna do it, I haven't been doing, but we're gonna do it today. I'm excited, I love caffeine, and we're gonna get it done. So, yeah, tomorrow we got abs. Not very exciting. Um, gotta figure out, I guess I'm gonna be doing my cardio today on, uh, so with my job and everything that I do, like a lot of the cardio I do is during the day because I'm walking around so much. I don't really like sit too often so you know it should be good it should be all right so again see how it goes gonna definitely hit the hit the gun tonight on my back roll out a little bit and uh and yeah so for abs tomorrow 
pretty quick. It's gonna be about six sets total, three really hard ab crunches with the cable, some side stuff, which I got a really cool variation now that I'm doing that I'm very excited for to do tomorrow. It's a lot of core bracing, which I think will overall help me out. And then, uh, and then hell, we'll just do some forearms and we'll call it a day. So yeah, we will, uh, we will get to that tomorrow.